Good day, Wildcats, because I don't know what time you're watching this. Or what day it is. Or what day. So it's either going to be a night or a day, but it's a good day, because... It's a great day. You are a Valley Oak Wildcat. Hopefully you can hear me through my mask. Next week, starting on the 11th, I have a whole lot of nothing going on on Monday. So lunch will be a wrapped sandwich. Another new item, I think, for Ooh. 2021. Or 20, yeah, 2021. Uh, Tuesday, the ever popular charbroiled cheeseburger. Ooh. Wednesday, if you need lunch, head on over to Clovis Wester Kasner. Thursday will be Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe's. Sloppy. What movie's that from? Sloppy Joe's. And there's like a cafeteria lady, old lady, like old school, that goes Sloppy Joe's and like does that. If you know the movie, you can win a prize. Tell your parents to look it up because you're too young to watch Sloppy whatever it was. Joe. Sloppy Joe's. Friday. This, no, I just got excited about the lunch menu. I forgot to say the other things. But Friday is a deep dish cheese pizza. Now I'm going to go back up and actually tell you things that are going on. <laughs> the Positivity Project character strength of next week will be Prudence. Prudence. Miss Wicks, can you tell us what Prudence is? No. If that's when you're being prude. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means. I don't know because I haven't looked at this and you put me on the spot all the time. And you know what? <laughs> Every time I sang Deck the Halls this this winter break, I I remembered. <laughs> Did you just pick your nose through your mouth? No, my face is itching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so prudence, prudence it is. We're going to learn about prudence this week. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't mean being a prude. Just going to go there. All right, Tuesday. I am so proud of you guys. Mrs. Stilson and I talked this morning, and she said there are like 40 or 50 of you doing a science fair project. What? Right? Wow. I am so excited to see them. Um, so if you are doing a science fair project, 8 a.m. on Zoom on Tuesday. We will send out uh, some more information in our email, just as a reminder, but don't forget 8 a.m. Tuesday. And on that note, she asked me to tell you guys that science fair projects were due electronically to her no later than February 1st. That's coming up. Yeah. So that was on the science fair, you know, topic. Agenda. Sorry, I stole your thunder. It's on this. So no, I know, and I didn't want to have to go back to science fair when we were already I talking see. about it. I got it, okay. So Wednesday, it's the uh, always the day you can earn a paw, which is Character Counts Day. Eric, put the paws up. Eric, Mr. Prado, <laughs> stop napping and put the paws up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Inside kidding. joke. Inside joke. Mr. Prado does not sleep on the job, I promise. But Wednesday, History Day meeting at 2.30. The final draft layout is uh, going to be reviewed. The final draft and layout, History Day meeting, 2.30. It's the final countdown. Yeah, I'm sure there's some people counting that down, yeah. too. Okay, a very important topic for your parents on Wednesday evening is the second quarter SART parent club meeting. I would love to have a lot of our families listening to um, our Zoom session. It will be live, so if you have questions, et cetera, we will be answering those relative to our new schedule that's starting on January 19th. So I know you have questions because I've heard from some of you, so please plan on attending that meeting. I hope it to be very informative. And we're, we're adding on the VOPC. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you can hear me. The VOPC will also be having a small portion of the meeting as well. So you can hear about the fun things that we have coming up for Parent Club. And that evening on YouTube is the CUSD board meeting at 6.30. Oh my gosh. What? It's another one. Can you? I can't. I lost my glasses. If you find my glasses, please return You've them. You just got those glasses. I know. You're worse than a child. I know. And I need them. She does, actually. So what do I. What does that say? I can't read. Earthquake drill. Woo! But it's not the California Great Shakeout. No. So it's just That's a regular not earthquake the one drill. Where, yeah. But this time we actually have live bodies on campus. So that'll be, that'll be a little be more great. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that 
is on Thursday and Friday is the end of the second quarter, which what? means that is the halfway marker for the school year. Wow. As I said, fast. I think before break or at some point, it is crunch time. Crunch time. Some of you really need to get down and get all the work done that needs to be completed before your teacher tells you final, the final day. Are you yawning through? I, I can see you yawning through your mask. No, not me. She's yawning. <laughs> I have very important information and she's over there yawning. I, I is, didn't yawn. You didn't see a yawn. I felt no, it. Nobody, I felt it. Nobody could see me. that. Now I lost my train of thought. It's crunch time. Get, Get your, your work done. done. It's not too late, especially if you see this over the weekend. Check Parent Connect, check Student Connect. Get as many assignments done as possible. On the 18th of January, we're going to take one more vacation day, or a holiday, I should say, and that is in celebration of the great Martin Luther King Jr. on January 18th. All right. I'll let you go. I'm kind of getting parched. <clears throat> no yawning. I'm not yawning. My throat hurts. I only have one. I've been talking. You one have one little, little item over there. I'll give you that one. Okay. We just have two paused for this week because I think there's one sitting on my desk that didn't get put in the bucket, but that's my fault. So college day was yesterday for first Thursday fun. Primary goes to room 16 with 58%. And I need Eric to put the pause up because I think that His they are- His name is Mr. Prado. Mr. Prado, sorry, 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 sorry. I think room 16 and 13 are tied neck neck. or neck and neck. And we need to like pan over there I know, next week. I know because I think it's close. And room 18, they're coming for room 11. Yes, they are. So Mr. Way Prado- Way to go fifth grade, whoop, whoop. Put those paws up. All right. Did you know that you could have your birthday on the marquee? We change the marquee every single week. If your parents would like to give that to you as a little gift for your birthday, have them check in with the office. Just want to give a little plug there because it's on the bottom of the thing here. Um, I'll let you go with that so we can end with the birthdays. All right. So our next uh, parent club fundraiser mm -hmm. is going to be with Primo Pizza. Primo Pizza is over by Food for Less on Somerville and Chestnut, Chestnut and yep. Shepherd, Shepherd area. Yep. I think that's where Chestnut turns into Somerville. It sure does. It's a really weird thing. It's just like you're on the street and all of a sudden it changes names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be on Tuesday and Wednesday, the 19th and 20th. And it is a family dinner for $45. You get 12 wings, family size salad, a large pizza, and for every order, we are getting $10 donated back straight to us. Very cool. I know Mrs. Dewey just had this meal for one of her Kasner. other- Kasner, Kasner, I don't even have children that go to Kasner. Yep. I just like to support our schools and not have to cook. So I'm not gonna lie, but Primo Pizza is where it's at. I love their pizza and the salad literally was this big. It was a big old pan of wow, salad. It was really great. good too, like homemade croutons. Like, Yum. Yeah, it was really good. And the wings were delicious as well. So we are trying as a parent club, as a school, we are trying to support those uh, restaurants that have supported us for many, many, many years. We have had a good relationship with a lot of our restaurants around our school and they've donated to our silent auctions and given us discounts on pizzas and different, different things like that. And now it is our turn to return the favor and help them out while we're in this pandemic and uh, all that they're having to go through as restaurants. So we're trying to keep them all in business. So that is exciting and it is a great uh, establishment. So if your family did this for Kasner mm, about a month or so ago, maybe it's longer because the days are running into each other, um, it is exact, the exact same meal. So. If you liked it once, you'll like it again. All right, you guys, I have the birthdays. We got our clapper ready. Case and Lear. Case and Lear. Yeah, that was a real wimpy. You always tell me I hurt your ears. Oh. I'm settling down. Oh, I appreciate it. But, you know, you already started with the loud clap, so how can you jip the other kids with the loud clap? Like, do you not like the January kids? I did not jip anyone. I simply did my clap. My hands are cold. And I simply did my clap. Case and Lear. 
She even oh, told that me. that was. <laughs> She even told me it's her birthday. I was in her classroom today, and she's like, my birthday's at four days. Woo! Marco Logaluso. <laughs> are you going to give thigh claps to everybody? <laughs> you know what? My hands are cold. One it, clap. It hurts. Loud clap. It hurts. One and done. Okay. All right. Adrina Islas. Maximino diaz Aguirre. He's a preschooler. Kimberly Garcia, Olivia Logan, Augustine Revia. I'm going to be honest, that makes me a little sad. There's a few friends that I know on this list I haven't seen in a while. I know. It makes me sad. One day, one day we'll be back to normal, right? But January brings the January gloom. It's been kind of gloomy these last couple days, as you see. We're here Super in a field. Super foggy. Are we in a field? We're in a, we're in a field. Field. field of fog. Field of fog. With the sun just trying to peek out like it's been doing most days, but then yeah. some days it doesn't. And I live out in the boonies, and when it's foggy, it's like scary foggy. Yeah. I Mr. Don't... Rainieri, his drive to work when yeah. it's foggy. Mr. Rainieri, he comes from Visalia. Yeah. That's a long, he loves you guys so much. He comes all the way to Vis from Visalia. I come two blocks away, but I still love you. <sighs> I was going to say on Tuesday, Wednesday, one of those days, Wednesday, I did not have a car. And so my youngest daughter and I decided we'd walk home. And it was lovely. That was like the, kind of the last day the sun came out. It was yeah. nice. <clears throat> and we made it home before it got dark and got a little exercise. So anyways, that was kind of a random yeah, it was tangent. Definitely I kind of do that. Okay. So anyways, boys and girls. Hope you have a great weekend or a great week, depending on when you're watching our video. And Get stay your work safe, done. keep your mask on, stay healthy so you can keep our teachers. Oh, I know, that's. I was kind of stalling because there was one more thing I wanted to say. I have a huge, huge shout out to our staff who has returned to school. Huge. I will tell you that there's a lot of schools all over California that are not doing what we're doing here at Valley Oak. I am so proud and so, so, I, it's like I'm so grateful, I don't even know how to like express it, um, that our teachers are willing to have our students in person. We know there's a large international pandemic going on, but we know how important it is to get to see our kids who are wanting to come in person and online. We are offering more than most schools in the whole state. And even on top of that, we're offering more than what a lot of schools are, even in Clovis Unified. So I'm super, super proud to be a Valley Oak Wildcat. And I just want to give our teachers a huge shout out. So give them a big air hug when you see them or via Zoom. Yes. What what was that? Raise the roof? Um, what raise the roof? I don't know. What did I I got do? an air hug today. To It was really cute. They were like, that was cute. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next week. Go Have a good one. Go 